Hello, Gary Halican here, and today I've got a package of 35 random minifigures. I got this on Timu for just $7, so it's a really great value. And just looking at the package here, I can already tell we're going to have some good ones. Looks like we've got a Godzilla, and a Michael Jordan, and Wolverine, and I spotted a Superman, and I think a Groot. So we're going to have some really good ones here, it looks like. And like I said, a fantastic value for these. I'm not going to build them on camera because that would take a really long time. But I'm going to go and build these and then come back and show you the 35 random figures that we got. Okay, we're back with our new mini figures. You can see all of them here. But I will show you one by one which ones we got. And some of these are the same ones that I got with the Marvel and DC set that you may have seen in one of my previous videos. But most of these are new to me. The uh, Almost all of these came with at least one accessory and a helmet or hairpiece. And almost all of them came with extra hands. So we've got a lot of good stuff there. A few of these did have fit issues. There's some of them that didn't want to fit together very well at all. Most of them are all right, though. So I will start with the ones I can identify, and then we will look at the weirder ones after that. And if there are any that I can't identify, that but, but that you can, please let me know in the comments. All right, so the only one that came with a stand is this clone trooper. And he's probably one of the best of the whole set here. Actually printed on the back. Most of these aren't printed on the back. I don't know if this is a specific one of the clone troopers. You could let me know in the comments if it is. But he is pretty good. You can see, though, the waist is not very tight on this one. And it looks like it says Lego World on the base, but it actually looks like L-E-B-Q. So not quite there, but that's a good one. All right, next up we've got probably the best one, my favorite one. We've got Godzilla. So this is really good. If you see here, the entire head and tail section is all one piece that goes on the neck peg of this figure. And you can see it's kind of in translucent green here. So that one's very good. Not quite in scale, I think, with the other ones. All right, next we've got Michael Jordan. So, Bulls number 23, right? Definitely Michael Jordan. Unfortunately, no printing on the back to say his name or anything. And the accessory he comes with is this basketball that I just dropped. There we go, I've caught it. All right, so he comes with this basketball. And what's really interesting about this you can see there on the inside, it's got the connector, so it can fit on his head as a helmet. And I think that's excellent. Okay, next we've got Captain America. So that one's pretty good. Looks to be the first Avengers movie uniform. Came with the shield. No printing on the back, unfortunately. But otherwise good. Captain America. Then we've got Groot. So Groot is a good one. Groot actually has printing on the back. Groot for some reason comes with a sword and a shield. I don't think he ever used any of those in any of the movies. But that's okay. So that's good. We've got Groot. Next we've got Superman. And this is a very good Superman. Um, he comes with these same kind of, I guess, sort of flight effects, like would come with an Iron Man. Um, he's got the cape. This one, the, the legs are a little weak on this one. The waist connection there. Very weak, in fact. Otherwise, though, this is a good Superman. All right, we've got the same... Gloveless Batman that I had gotten previously. And his head is a little bit loose. 
but he's otherwise a good old school Batman. The cape is a little weird on this one because you can see here it doesn't have the regular Batman scallops, but it looks kind of ragged a little bit there. So a little bit of a weird cape. We've got the, if I try to take his helmet off, it's going to bring the whole head off. The neck connection isn't real tight. We've got a pretty good Batman with no gloves. Okay, we've got Thor. And overall, very good Thor, except that his hair is very loose here. The hair doesn't really connect at all, so it does, but it's very, very loose. Otherwise, though, otherwise, though, a uh, good Thor. Okay, we've got... Now, initially, I thought this was Black Widow, of course, but Black Widow never had a ponytail, I don't think, so... Perhaps this is the um, Rachel Weiss character, right? The kind of Black Widow's mom character from the movie. I'm thinking that might be who this is supposed to be, but it's otherwise good. Comes with the batons in clear blue. And we've got Nick Fury. I think this is the same Nick Fury I got in the set I showed previously in my previous video. He comes with two guns, so that's good. No printing on the back again for this one, but otherwise good. Then we've got Naked Hulk again, so I definitely got this one in the previous Marvel and DC set. So we've got Hulk with no pants and with two Psy weapons here, so a little bit unusual for Hulk to go around. Usually... Hulk's pants are the uh, strongest substance in the Marvel Universe, right? And then we've got Wolverine. So this is a pretty good Wolverine. Fortunately, no printing on the back. And a eh, fair approximation of the claws, right? He's just kind of holding on to them there. But otherwise, pretty good Wolverine. All right, so I think that's pretty much all of the ones that I can identify. There's a couple... That I can, but are still kind of strange. So we'll look at those next, and then we'll look at all the other random ones and see maybe if you can help me out in the comments. So we've got Spider Man with no sleeves and with hair. So if you look closely, you'll notice it's the uh, Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider Man suit here, and it's in translucent plastic, both the the torso and the head, but he's got no sleeves and yellow gloves and a wrench, it looks like, so a little bit of an odd Spider-Man there. Then we've got this one, which is definitely Tony Stark, but it's Tony Stark with orange pants and a mining hat. Looks like a miner's hat. Right, I don't think he sported this look in any of the movies, but he comes with this excellent translucent green sword. Okay, now we'll look at ones that I don't really have any idea on. So, we've got this guy. So, mostly blue outfit. He has a pretty nice gun accessory. So again, tell me in the comments if this is if any of these are actual characters or if they are just random assemblages of parts. So we've got this guy. And he came with this hair piece, but it will not fit on his head. I think you can see the connector on his head is a little bit messed up there, so his hair piece won't fit. And he came with this sword. Is this the uh, Minecraft sword? I think I've seen that before. Okay. And then this one, this looks kind of familiar. Is this a Fortnite character, perhaps? Isn't there one that's like a woman in pink with a pickaxe? Either way, it's a woman in pink and purple with a pickaxe. And we've got this guy, and I got no ideas on this one. 
I don't really recognize the outfit at all. And of course it comes with a Stormtrooper helmet. So, no ideas on that one. I think it's probably just a random assemblage of parts. This one, I initially was thinking it was Ultron, right? One of the Ultron robots from Age of Ultron. But it has kind of a uh, Trump hairdo there. So I'm not sure on that one either. Most robots don't have uh, hair. Some do, I guess. All right, we got this guy. Kind of battle damaged. Kind of guy there, yellow pants and or yellow shirt and orange pants. A lot of them came with these uh, katana type swords. We've got all silver guy in an all silver suit with a pitchfork and a baseball cap. You can see here he's got a eye patch in the suit. I don't know. He looks like maybe he's a Yakuza guy or something. All right, this guy is definitely a uh, Minecraft character, right? I don't know too much about that, but I think this is one of the Minecraft characters. This character looks sort of familiar, but I can't place it. So if you can, let me know in the comments. Looks sort of familiar, but I'm not sure if it is anybody. No accessories with this one. So this guy is kind of interesting because his torso is not just printed, but it actually has a raised texture on it, if you can see there. Kind of an embossed look to the torso. So that makes this one kind of interesting. I don't know who it's supposed to be, though, other than that. Then we've got several ninja type characters. So this guy has sort of a uh, martial arts outfit there, but he has a pickaxe. So we've got another sort of martial arts ninja type character. Comes with a baton and a nice flat top hairdo. And we've got purple hair ninja, eyeless purple hair ninja. Oh, maybe he does have yellow eyes in there. They're kind of hard to see. Pretty good though. I like the dragon print here on the torso. I don't think a lot of ninjas had purple hair, did they? Some of them might have. Okay, we've got military type guy. This was the only hand I broke in this set. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that the hands don't fit very well on these unbrand uh, minifigures. Sometimes they will break here. So we've got military guy with a psi weapon. All right, we've got this guy in his orange coveralls with his hard hat. No accessories with this one. So he's got to go back to the construction site or wherever he came from. Now this one, this was one of the more complete ones. By that I mean you can tell that his headpiece, you know, matches his outfit here. And he does have printing on the back. So my suspicion is that this one is an actual character from something. But I didn't recognize what it was. Some sort of robot ninja of some kind, maybe. Okay, this is an interesting one. So, the face and the torso design seem to indicate that this would be a Tony Stark, right? An Iron Man of some kind. He's got the goatee there. And you see the torso design is sort of a Iron Man armor. But he's got the red miner's hat and a purple face and these two big swords. So my, my thought here is with the purple and gold color scheme and with these swords is, you know, is this some uh, 
strange uh, attempt at Thanos, perhaps. Maybe that was the idea with this one. But I suppose it's whatever you want to decide that it is. Okay, we've got another ninja martial arts guy wearing a miner's hat. Just three more. We've got desert camo guy. Now his head is a little bit strange. Because it appears that he's wearing some sort of mask, right? Because you see only his eyes are visible. But his mask, you know, there's the same color as his hands is the flesh tone. But I suppose it would make sense that he would wear a, uh, you know, a beige mask if he's doing desert camo, I guess. And then we got this guy. Now, if you look closely at this one, you'll notice that he's not wearing a shirt, right? You can see the uh, chest hair there, but his torso is red when his face is not, but it appears that he's uh, just wearing kind of harness straps here. So no ideas on that one either. And last one is this guy, and it looks like he's taken an injury of some kind here. He's got bright orange hair, no accessories with him. All right, so that's all 35 random minifigures. Again, for uh, $7, this is a great value. You can get a lot of playtime out of this. So very soon, I will have more interesting minifigures for you to look at. Let me know in the comments if you recognized any of these that I didn't. Let me know any other cool stuff you've got, and I'll see you in the next review.